A very violent storm, accompanied by continuous discharges of lightning and sudden gusts of wind hit Milan, Brianza and the northern region of Lombardy at around 4 a.m. The storm also caused serious damage to our power grid. The Milan Transport Company which explained that parts of the city and some depots were without power, while fallen trees and debris on roads blocked the line's normal route. Tram, trolley, and bus services experienced severe delays. All subway trains were open and in normal service. There was only one stop on Line 1 at Ngani for one way. In Monza, many trees were uprooted, while in Via Correggio a car with a family inside was crushed by a fallen tree. The man was injured and taken to San Gerardo in Monza where he was admitted to a code red hospital due to head trauma. Hundreds of calls were received by the Milan Fire Department after a new storm with strong winds and hail that hit the capital overnight. Reports of open roofs, with flooding due to heavy rain and hail falling in a short period of time. The video shows the intensity of rain and strong horizontal gusts of wind, in some cases breaking through or causing house windows to open wide, causing flooding. From the Navigli area to Porta Nuova the video shows the storm and in some areas of the city you can see roads with lots of fallen trees even on parked cars. Ten minutes of terror at the mercy of the wind of indescribable strength, hail may be as big as a tennis ball, I live alone and I am so scared," wrote a woman from Milan on Twitter. In Brianza, a 58-year-old woman of Moroccan nationality died after being crushed by a tree that fell due to bad weather, as she was walking in Lisson to go to work. Immediately calls for help from some passers-by, but when rescuers arrive on the scene, they can do nothing to save him. Firefighters worked hard to remove the body which was stuck under the trunk. Members of the Municipal Council for Safety and Civil Protection wrote directly, very strong thunderstorm at 4.00, with rain around 30 mm per hour with a maximum peak of 39 mm per hour on Piazza Cecilia. Lots of damage, fallen trees, flooding. The maximal commitment of the fire brigade and civil protection system is exhausted by continuous intense work since Friday. More than a hundred calls to the fire department switchboard due to the umpteenth wave of bad weather, mainly in the northwestern area of the metropolis of Milan. Between Rho and Busto Arcisio, on the border with Verasato, there was damage from bad weather. In Parabiego province of Milan, where streets were completely flooded, several roofs were ripped off and a large tree fell on a house. About 100 square meters of the sheet metal roof of a house in Bergamo, detached from the house in high winds and ended up in the street, luckily not hitting anyone. The heavy and complicated structure toppled several road sign fences and electricity poles. About 1,500 people are isolated in the upper Brambana Valley, due to a landslide that broke off the mountain and invaded a road in the Fondre area. Masses of water, mud and trees have overrun provincial roads, effectively blocking access to the upper valley, Isola residents of Fondra, Branzi, Balave, Corona and Fapolo. Firefighters, workers from the province of Bergamo with a canton and local administrators intervened on the spot, luckily no one was injured in the incident. Storms and winds also hit Varese province, causing various damages. Dozens of calls to the fire department for fallen plants, flooding in uneven roofs. The most affected areas are on the borders with the provinces of Milan and Como. Meanwhile, the Lombardy County Functional Risk Monitoring Center has issued a new orange alert for a possible thunderstorm in the next 24 hours. According to Italian meteorologists, downburst is a different phenomenon from a tornado. Literally meaning to kill, it consists of extremely violent and extremely cold gusts that develop in a decreasing direction compared to a storm of intense intensity. When they hit the ground, these gusts spread horizontally and can reach speeds higher than 100 km per hour. A phenomenon that we have seen for the first time this year, 
but in the past has created a lot of problems during heavy rainfall in spring and summer. The difference is that a tornado is a phenomenon that is often localized to a small piece of land, whereas a downburst covers a rather large sector supported by very strong downward air currents and quickly travels 7 to 8 kilometers between cloud and ground, said meteorologist Mattia Guassoni. Meanwhile, a major hail hit a Delta Airlines passenger jet bound for New York shortly after taking off from Milan on Monday, July 24, 2023, forcing it to divert safely to Rome's main airport, Italian media, and the airline said. The plane suffered damage to the nose and fuselage near the wings, Italian media said. According to Delta, Flight DL-185 from Milan to New York JFK diverted to Rome after encountering bad weather after takeoff, Delta's statement did not specify the type of damage. The flight landed safely and the passengers disembarked normally. The aircraft suffered some damage during bad weather which is being reviewed by our local maintenance team, said the airline statement. Delta did not say how many passengers and crew were on board the plane, or whether they had booked another flight on Monday or might have to spend the night in Rome after landing at Leonardo da Vinci Airport. Milan is in the Lombardy region, which has in recent days been hit by several storms with hail the size of tennis balls and gusts of wind. Divers and firefighters rescue a man trapped in his flooded garage after heavy rains. Passengers of convoy Trenner 25277 at 21.09 that departed from Milan Porta Garibaldi were rescued and helped to get off at Monza Station, at around 21.20 yesterday due to damage to RFI infrastructure, particularly on the power line between Sesto San Giovanni in Monza. Thanks to Red Cross staff, Pulfer and Trenner, about 150 passengers were disembarked and evacuated. 35 people were escorted to another station in Red Cross or civil protection vehicles. 13 were driven to their destination by taxi, while about 100 people organized themselves. Several travelers heading to various parts of Lombardy and the countryside were stuck at the central station in Milan, due to several impassable lines. The municipality of Sesto San Giovanni has announced that it has issued a union ordinance ordering the closure of parks, public parks and cemeteries in municipal areas until verification work on green areas is completed. The purpose of this provision is to protect public safety and ensure the normal course of work for the protection and restoration of places affected by adverse weather conditions, taking into account the criticality indicated by weather warnings and weather forecasts for the coming days. The residents are advised to be careful and careful. The problems due to severe weather are also occurring in Tuscany, where the territory has issued a statewide yellow alert for severe thunderstorms from midnight 2 p.m. tomorrow. The storm risk on the north-central coast and islands and wind risk on the Pistoia Mountains, Upper Mugello from 12 to midnight.